one refrigerator they are charging 22000 so how many refrigerator they are supplying they are supplying 10 units of refrigerator so if they are in same state within the state supply which tax is applicable yes cgst and sgst is applicable so if the transaction is happening between two states like karnataka tamil nadu kerala andhra pradesh if the transaction is happening between two states okay bihar and rajasthan so at that time igst is applicable hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session on unit number 1 session 2 that is on the topic introduction to gst so in the earlier class we discussed what is gst and what are the different types of gst rates under gst features of gst and the advantages of gst so in this class we will be solving few problems based on computation of gst and the value of the supply made by a particular supplier so the first problem it goes like this mr rajesh supplier of tamil nadu supplied 10 units of refrigerator which cost 22000 each to mr manohar the wholesaler in mysore yes here rajesh the supplier is in tamil nadu okay the supplier is in tamil nadu and the recipient that is the buyer is in mysore mr rajesh given 15% discount on each refrigerator the applicable gst is 18% compute gst payable by mr manohar okay so this is the problem just you have to find out what is the total value of supply and what is the gst payable by mr manohar so here the supplier is supplying 10 units of refrigerator so what is the cost of goods here so 22000 per unit so for one refrigerator they are charging 22000 so how many refrigerator they are supplying they are supplying 10 units of refrigerator so 22000 per refrigerator into 10 units totally it comes to 2 lakh 20000 so this is the actual value of refrigerator but the supplier had given the discount of 15% discount of 15% so less discount of 15% so 2 lakh 20000 into 15% of discount so discount value comes to 33000 okay so deduct 33000 from 2 lakh 20000 you will get the balance of 1 lakh 87000 so on that 1 lakh 87000 compute gst at 18% see here supplier is in tamil nadu and the buyer is in mysore so here the transaction is happening between two states if the transaction is happening between two states which tax is applicable igst is applicable so which tax is applicable igst is applicable in case if the transaction is happening within the state from mysore to bangalore from thumku to shivamogga from darwad to publi if the transaction is happening within the state then which tax is applicable cgst so which tax is applicable cgst and sgst so if the transaction is happening between two states like karnataka tamil nadu kerala andhra pradesh if the transaction is happening between two states okay bihar and rajasthan so at that time igst is applicable okay and if the transaction is happening within the state okay within the state then cgst and sgst is applicable if you go to a mall and i want to purchase some clothes okay so what tax is applicable cgst and sgst is applicable because you the buyer you are in the same state and the seller is also in the same state so cgst and sgst is applicable so in this problem the seller is in tamil nadu and the buyer is in mysore that is in karnataka so between two states which tax is applicable igst is applicable so compute igst at 18% so value was 187000 so after discount 187000 so 187000 into 18% you will get 33660 so add this tax value with 187000 you will get the total of 220000 
660. You will get the total of 2,20,660. So this is the total value of supply made by Mr. Rajesh to Mr. Manohar. So here what is the GST payable? GST payable is 33,660 is the GST payable. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem. And in your main exam, compulsorily they will ask this kind of questions for 5 marks. So compulsory question for 5 marks in main exam. So moving on to the next problem, problem number 2. Mr. Akash of Mysore sold 10 units of drilling machine to Mr. Santosh at rupees 3000 each and given discount at 10% and the rate of GST is 18%. Compute GST payable by Mr. Manohar. Yes, he is supposed to pay the GST. So here, Mr. Akash sold, Mr. Akash sold 10 units of drilling machines. So how many units of drilling machines he sold? He sold 10 units of drilling machine to Mr. Santosh. So at what price? At the price of 3000. In this problem, the supplier is supplying the drilling machine for 3000 per machine and he had given 10% discount. How much? 10% discount. Okay. So how to solve the problem? So cost of goods, how much? 3000 each. So cost of goods is 3000 each into how many units supplied? 10 units. So you will get 30,000. Less discount. So what is the discount rate? 10%. So less discount at 10%, 30,000 into 10 you will get 3000. So after discount, what is the value? 27. On 27, rate of GST is 18%. Okay. So now here in this problem, Mr. Akash of Mysore, Mr. Akash of Mysore sold goods to Mr. Santosh. Here the name of the seller and the buyer is mentioned, but the place, the place of the buyer and the seller is not mentioned. Yes, of course, the seller place is Mysore, but the buyer place is not mentioned. At that point of time, you have to assume that both the buyer and the seller are in the same stage. Okay. If the buyer place is not specified in the problem, just you have to assume that buyer and the seller are both in the same state. Buyer and seller are in the same state. So if they are in the same state, within the state supply, which tax is applicable? Yes. CGST and yes gst is applicable so 27000 is the after discount value cgst 9% on 27000 yes gst 9% on 27000 because total gst is 18% so 9% cgst 9% sgst value 2430 2430 so tax amount comes to 4860 okay so total the value you will get the total value of 31,860. So total value is how much? 31,860 and rupees 4,860 is the GST payable. So 4,860 is the GST payable. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem. They might ask this kind of questions for 5 marks. So moving on to the next problem. Mr. X of Mysore supplied goods for rupees 10,000 to Mr. Y of Bangalore. CGST and SGST on the goods and service is at 9% each. So here this tax is 9% each. That means the total is 18%. Total is 18%. CGST is 9%. SGST is 9%. So find out the following. That is total price charged by Mr. X for supply of goods and who is liable to pay GST. So, he is supplying the goods worth rupees 10,000. So, cost of goods 10,000, okay. So, add GST at 18%, CGST 9%, SGST 9%. So, in this particular problem, discount is not given. So, CGST at 9% and SGST at 9%. On 10,000, you will get 900, 900, totally 1,800 is the tax payable, that is GST payable total it you will get 11,800. So here total price charged is how much? 11,800. So who is liable to pay the tax? The buyer is liable to pay the tax. The buyer of the product is liable to pay the tax. 
So Mr. Y is liable to pay GST of rupees 1800. Finished. So this kind of questions also they'll ask for 5 marks in you know main exam. So compulsory they'll ask this kind of questions for 5 marks in your main exam. Problem number 5. Mr. Krishna of Hubli supplied goods for rupees 70,000 to Mr. Arjun of Madikeri. So Mr. Krishna bought goods for rupees 47,200 that is inclusive of GST 18% from Mr. Nakul of Mysore. CGST and SGST rate on supply of goods is 9% each. Calculate the total price charged by Mr. Krishna and the net liability of GST. So here total price charged by Krishna and net liability of GST. So here two transactions are happening. So Mr. Krishna here Mr. Krishna of Hubli supplied goods to Arjun. So Krishna is supplying goods to Arjun. But from whom Krishna purchased the goods? Mr. Krishna purchased the goods from Mr. Nakul. So first he purchased goods from Mr. Nakul. Then he sold to Mr. Arjun of Madkeri. So for how much he purchased? Mr. Krishna purchased the goods for Rs. 47,200 and he sold for Rs. 70,000 to Mr. Arjun of Madkeri. Okay. So cost of goods Rs. 70,000. So for how much he is selling Mr. Krishna? He is selling the goods for 70,000. So add GST at 18%. 9% CGST, 9% SGST, 12,600. Total 82,600. So here the price charged, the total price charged by Mr. Krishna to Mr. Arjun of Madkeri is rupees 82,600. How much? It is rupees 82,000. 600. Next, less input tax 47,200 by 118 into 18. So here 7,200, 7,200 is the input tax what he had already paid. So how to find out the input tax while he was purchasing the goods from Mr. Nakul, Krishna paid 18% of tax on this 47,200 and that 47,200 is inclusive of 18% of tax. So, how to find out 47,200 into 118 divided by 18. So, if 47,200 is for 118%, then what is the value for 18%? So, why 118? Because for 100%, we added 18% of GST, right? So, 100 plus 18, 118%. So, now this 47,200 is how much? 118% value. So if you compute like this, you will get 18% value. So what is that 18% value in the problem is rupees 7200. So 12600 is the GST payable and you have already paid how much? 7200. What is the remaining GST payable? The remaining GST payable is 5400. So net liability of GST is how much? 5400. Next moving to the next problem. Problem number 6, Mr. Mahesh of Hyderabad supplied goods for Rs. 50,000 to Mr. Kiran of Bangalore. Mr. Mahesh bought goods for Rs. 35,400 inclusive of IGST of 18% from Raghu of Mysore. IGST rate on supply of goods is 18%. Calculate the total price charged by Mahesh and net liability of GST. Yes, again here there are three parties, Mr. Mahesh, Mr. Kiran and Mr. Raghu. Mr. Mahesh is selling the goods to Mr. Kiran, okay, Mr. Mahesh selling the goods to Mr. Kiran. So before selling it to Kiran, Mr. Mahesh purchased the goods from Mr. Raghu. So for how much he purchased? He purchased for 35,400 and he sold it to 50,000, okay. Cost of the goods 50,000 and 9% 9% 9%, you'll get 9,000. So 50,000 plus 9,000, 59,000. Okay. Now GST payable is how much? 9,000. GST payable is how much? Rupees 9,000. So less input tax. So input tax that means the tax 18% paid on this value, on purchase value. So this 35,400 is inclusive of 
18% value. So how we are going to find out? So rupees 35,400. If this value is for 118%, then what is the value for 18%? You'll get the value. So what is the value? Rupees 5,400. So 9,000 minus 5,400, you'll get balance of 3,600. This is called net liability of GST. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problems. That is the basic problems on GST. We'll solve few more problems with respect to computation of GST in the upcoming classes. So until then, thank you all.